Hello and good morning. Got the video recording here. And I'm going to do something I haven't yet done, which is do a recording while I shuffle, which I don't do very well. <laughs> Shuffling, I mean. Video recording, eh, I guess we'll figure that out, right? But I'm kind of going out on a limb here. And I want to do that in order to, I don't know, provide a little more authenticity. Um, something came up when I was listening to another reader yesterday, but it had come up for me earlier. And I kind of wanted to do this but live, but I, I don't have that capability just yet. I have to get approval from YouTube. You have to wait 24 hours. So anyway, I can't go quite off the cuff and completely raw, but I intend on doing that because, you know, I'm actually just doing this in a very public way for the first time. So why not do it in my kind of what is what by, by some standards may be kind of clunky and, and amateurish, but um, I kind of like the way I do it. And I want to show people that you can do this too. And um, I look up stuff, and I'll probably do that as we work through today's reading. So I'm going to clear all that energy. I'm shuffling the cards in my very, like, like, look at me. Like, this is what I do. <laughs> I don't have a fancy way of shuffling. But I'm going to shuffle the cards and ask what the energies are today and how we can best use them to our benefit and the benefit of those around us. Because when we serve ourselves and we are working at our highest vibration, we are working at our best for those around us. And when we draw the, the people we want to us, situations. So what are the energies today? What are the energies today that we can work with, learn from, grow? What are the energies that can help us to the best and bring us our best and brightest cups. We just had three cards fly out. We've got the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the King of Wands. So these are the cards that came out. I'll show those to you. That's the Four of Pentacles. This is the Gilded Tarot deck, by the way. You can't really see that super well. Let's see. Let me get this in a position that actually looks good for y'all. Mm. Still not quite. Ah, there we go. That's our Four of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands. So these guys coming out together. That kind of shows up backwards. Here is the, the King of Wands. These guys showing up together. That's interesting. Anyway. Um, let's see if any other cards want to come out. We'll sit with those gentlemen for a while. Let's see what comes up. It definitely feels like a something very passionate what we're holding on to, about which we feel very passionate. We continue to hold on to. We want to defend and keep. It's hard to let things go, I know. Are there any other cards that want to come out, Spirit? Ancestors and Archangels of the Pure White Light. Ah, we've got another one there. The Queen of Wands came out to match the King. So with this Libra full moon, I'm not entirely surprised. I don't know if you can see her super well. I'll take pictures of these separately. But she's beautiful. Are there any other cards that want to come out? Usually if a, a set comes up together, I kind of count them as one energy or, you know, a commentary on one, one energy. And I like to pull three cards. The queen is our second. She's kind of our central figure here. Gentle nourishment of the home fires. And those are a lot of cards. Let's pick one card, spirit. One card spirit that you have for us to show us the energies that we're working with and teach us how to work with them in the best way possible today. This one wants to come out. Take that. And then we have the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So we have the nine of cups that came up. 
things like that. And then the Three of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. But we also have the Four of Cups. So, and the Devil. <laughs> oh, but look, here's our star. Here's our star. She came up um, yesterday. Oh. When I look at these cards, my initial feeling is that, again, we have this Nine of Cups. That's been pretty consistent coming up with a lot of abundance. And at the, there, are, there are several abundance cards in the deck. The nine is the nine of cups is one of them. The four of wands is another, and star, the star coming card, card coming up. You know, dreams and wishes coming true, emotional fulfillment. You know, cups being full. The star card came up yesterday, and she was literally filling. I saw her as literally filling. By the way, if I didn't say this card is this deck is the Gilded Tarot, written by uh, created by Barbara Moore, who also collaborated with Stephanie Pui Munla, who does the Shadowscapes Tarot, which I also use. But this is the Gilded Tarot. Anyway, that Starkey card came up yesterday. Um, so, and she was filling those cups in a way that, you know, she's washing us clean, getting those cups full. But today, you know, I feel like we're starting or there is some residual energy coming in with these guys that came up at the beginning, the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the King of Wands. And generally, this is an energy of, we feel really passionate about something. We're not re it didn't turn out the way we wanted to, and we're, we're still holding on to it. But we've got to get up. We've got to find that drive within us. You know, the sun just moved into the side of Aries. The emperor was actually at the bottom of yesterday's deck as well. Um, and the um, emperor is generally the card of, card of Aries. But we just moved into a new season, and the sun just moved into a sign of where it is exalted. It's been through three different zodiac signs in the past several months where it is not exalted. <laughs> and um, now it's time to shine. Like, what are we passionate about? Can we, can we turn our passion, this King of Wands, this Queen of Wands, these two actually are a couple. They're a fiery couple. Can we ignite that within ourselves, either in a relationship, in a situation, in some kind of partnership? that can bring us to the Nine of Cups, right? Can bring us to that Nine of Cups feeling of abundance where we have that not only, you know, emotional and, you know, passion and drive in our lives, but we actually have mastery. The Three of Pentacles is a card of um, artistic um, mastery where we're really, really good at something and we can create anything we want. So, but still we have this discontent. We still have this, this discontent. You see that? The card of the Four of Cups is a card of discontent. And when I look at this, you know, there's just something that we're still looking for. And, you know, we do run the risk of running back into addictions, habits, you know, things that bring us, put us, make us unconscious. And when we're unconscious, we can't, we got to stay clean. We actually do need to stay clean and whatever that means for you. So there may be some things that we do need to leave behind about which we feel very passionate and connected to for some reason, but for, for, but actually maybe holding us back. Examine what that is for yourself. That's keeping you from mastery and abundance and true fulfillment and passion. This isn't a time to go unconscious. It's a time to work at, to do this work. We just moved into, I said, like I said, a brand new season. We just had a um, full moon in Libra last night, but at the very first degree of Libra. We will have another full moon in Libra as we move into Taurus season. 
Use these next several weeks to examine your passions, why you're doing what you're doing. Is, it, is there an imbalance? Is it not actually serving you, be it your relationships, be it your, your partnerships, your work, whatever it is that you're doing where you invest a great deal of yourself, does it actually bring you to the Nine of Cups? Does it actually make you feel like you know what you're doing? Like you, you, you got this. You can make anything you want. This guy's making anything. He's making shit out of the air. He's making not only an, an emotional abundance, but a 3D abundance. That's the suit of pentacles. So that's pretty much the reading. Um, I'll leave it at that. I'll do a short one minute one for the Instagram and a write up as well. Thanks for joining me.